Hello everybody, this is Peacecat100, and welcome to, um, new Let's Play series on my channel. Um, this is called Vacant Sky Volume 1 Contention. Um, if you guys remember Ars Harmonia on my channel that I did a couple things ago, this is in the same timeline, same sort of events as that game. Six months earlier, I believe. Um, it's kind of an alternate story, but it takes place in the same setting. So, this is made by Kate Holden. I will try to link you to her channel, um, who also made or did the art design at least for Ars Harmonia. I I took went through a playthrough of this. Sorry about the noises. I went through a playthrough of this um, on my own just to check it out. I have been addicted. I finished it up in a good probably a good three or four days just because I couldn't stop playing it. Um, it's it's not a complete series yet. This comes out in three acts. This is act one. Act one plus I should say. Um, then we're going to move on to Act 2 Plus, and then Act 3 Plus is currently not available, but when it comes out, I will be playing that as well. This, um, this game kind of goes along, you know what, I'll, I'll let you see. I'm going to set it up here. So we're going to start off a new game. Please select the difficulty. Beginners designed for those who are new or difficult to standard role-playing games. That's not going to be me. Veteran is the standard, and Legend is the suicidal, good luck, you're screwed type of one. So I am going to be going Veteran, because I don't want it to be too hard, but I don't want it to be too easy either. Even though I know what's going on. So, sure, I do. So, take a listen. Thank you. 
Now we start off right in the middle of some sort of plot line and some sort of dungeon. I also hope I wasn't giving out false information. I did think that Kate Holden was part of this, but it may not have been. I know she's part of Project BC, so. <clears throat> Oopsie. Okay. So, they're speaking about something called the Virad, which, as you might already be able to tell, is kind of the main antagonistic party in this game. <clears throat> wow. She's right there. <laughs> Boo. Sandarga. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> there are gonna be no guards to help you out here. <laughs> you want to know the connection, huh? Yeah, I'd say he's a pretty powerful Virad. <laughs> In other words, she just killed everybody on this floor. adjusting the volume here I mean it's good music but I s my headphones are screwed up so yep so any save point will restore your mana and your health I would like to save my progress I will be saving over mine since I've already gone and done everything that I needed to on this floor And what about him? All right. What about him? Oh well. Okay. And him? Oh. And her. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so we're obviously not going to be taking this elevator. So it's it's your standard controls W uh not W yeah the the arrow keys to to move. Okay. Oh. Well, and then the battle system I'll be getting. It's it's basically any standard. Oh, here it is now. So the battle system is obviously a turn-based system um, you got your attacks, you got your special abilities the awakenings I'll explain later wait hold on oh hold on yeah so your techniques and your awakenings, your techniques are physical things and or like special more high level physical attacks or healing spells or spells of that nature. Awakenings are a much more powerful um, st uh, whatever that still uses mana. Items, escape. And then there's going to be another ability which I'll talk about later. As for the whatchamacallits on their heads, every, every one of them right now has something called dodge. And obviously as the name implies, dodge will make it harder for usual of us to hit not so much um, not so much for these two characters but um, dodge will come in handy later there's also counter um, defense you know there's there's a whole bunch of them which I'll 
which I'll talk about later. Uh, like I said, there are more powerful spells. I probably could have taken them all out on one shot, but I didn't. Now, I can also... Oh, okay. A weapon is another another one of the Virad. We can't go anywhere else but here, so... And obviously to interact you'll press the enter key or whatever you configure it to. There's some, there are definitely some interesting character designs here. The only problem, the, not a problem, but one thing to notice is that they'll always have the same expression, un unless it's a couple of special occasions. join the party there is going to be a menu unfortunately in these segments for some reason I cannot access that that there's also a fact that of course you guys are seeing this hopefully in full screen if I edit it right but I'm actually in a windowed screen right now I can't really record in full screen because a it won't let me stay in full screen right now um, it, excuse me, it won't let me switch because I need to access the menu. And B, when I tried to record it in full screen before, it just kind of bugged out. So, that's my thing. So if I seem to be struggling with some of the words because they're a little smaller. And we got more. I have, oh. Right, okay. Ah, so that's what Angel does. Draws power from weapon, sword, strength to himself. Okay. And then we have, again, the special spells. The spells are probably your best bet when dealing with... Never mind, then. Um, your spells are probably the best bet when you're, when you're dealing with... With those that can dodge. But, obviously, it's not 100% accurate. Which, which means it kind of helps that if, excuse me, if um, you have more than one person on your team, because that way they can kind of recover for you for those of them that you missed. So there's really nothing important here, but we do get a little bit of dialogue here. No, please don't kill me. I won't tell you we're here. Okay. So weapon is. Kind of the ladies, or trying to be the ladies man of the Virad group. Um, he's also very, very strong. Then I did not see this the first time around. Okay, I'll explain that later. Anyway, so we're here. Wait. Okay. Found the Vera, don't let them escape. Yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna have to fight this time. Mr. Head Vera is going to kinda just disappear. And they're gonna take care of the rest. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, I think weapon is pretty much taken care of. And it so happens that, oh, I did not know you could go around. Okay, then, find out what's in here. There's something there. I want it. But I guess not getting it. Unless we can get the code from one of these guys. No, it was worth a shot though. Alright, well. Maybe there was a code and I missed it. Oh well. There's no turning back now. Um, where am I going? So I like, I do like how they have different lightings, different rooms, stuff like that. Or whatever. That other door doesn't mean anything, so. Darian? Wait a minute. Oh my. Don't think, just fight. Just blindly follow orders. Yeah, it seems about right. Ooh. Now, meet our main protagonist, Arya. These are her two companions. Zacharias and Sari. Learn more about them later. That's bull. That's bull. You do not know. You cannot do that. Unless they change the system. That doesn't happen later on. Anyway. Um, so we're going to level up right away. Obviously, this is our level up gauge. You get 12, 12 experience, as I said before, you get 12 experience points for each time you level up. Apparently we leveled up twice. Um, and we're also low in health. And mana. So, right now... Each one of these um, is equal, pretty much. Um... I'm not quite sure which path I want to go on with this one. I think I like the path I chose. So, for now, I'm just going to evenly distribute it amongst them. And then later on, I'm going to div divert from that. And we have this journal here, so we can learn more about them. <coughs> So now, first, let's let's find out more about our Aria, Edith. Well, what is there to say? I'm 17 years old, and I go to East Navin High School. I like writing and music, and I don't like stupid people. I also hate people that think they're better than you. I guess I'll, that's all I can think of for now. Maybe I can write more later. Okay. 
uh, Zacharis Zagran, I think. Well, he's at least he's polite. He and Sari found me in Alibas, I think, and took me in. It seems like Zacharis really doesn't like me. Is it because I'm human? He's always on edge around me. He doesn't want to keep me around, but he agrees with whatever Sari has to say. Something about him seems subtly hostile. Subtly, yeah, hostile. But I think as long as Siri is around, he won't say anything. I guess I should be grateful. So now we're going to find out about Siri or Siri Jala Rakori. Rakori. <clears throat> kind stranger. She apparent. She's a friend. Blah, blah, blah. Try it again. She's apparently a friend of Zacharis, but something about their relationship makes me think there's more to it than that. Zacharis seems a lot more subdued when she's around. Whatever the case, Sari's a lot better company than Zacharis. She goes out of her way to help me, a told stranger, and she promised to help me find a way home. She seems nice and seems to have a good grasp on what's going on. That makes one of us. So now we'll find out more about the town, Barrette, any sort of side missions that we get here, or new characters that we meet, or new towns that we go, uh, we can get information on. Uh, on it from the journal. Where is everyone? A small village with a disturbing number of graveyards. Something about this place isn't quite right. Everyone has left their homes, apparently, to take shelter. I was supposed to get a ride home from here, from here, but I feel like there's something going on here that I don't want to get involved in. So right now we don't have any items, but we can do that. Techniques? We don't have any right now. Equipment? We don't have any extras, but... She has a sword, she has daggers, and he has a sword and a shield. Status. We can find out more about them. Attack, speed, defense, affinity, compassion, self-esteem, stuff like that. So there's a lot there's a lot to take in here. This isn't the standard RPG. This actually goes more in depth to, in depth to each of the characters and what they're feeling and their affinity and everything. Okay, so her affinity is water. That's interesting. And his affinity is earth. We'll level up, got the journal, got the options. <coughs> Return the title, toggle full screen, which I won't do because it's going to screw up the recording. And, of course, quit. And then, if you want to back out, you have to press the B button. You can't press quit. Otherwise, it's going to exit the window. I learned that the hard way. So save here. There's not really much that you want to learn that you that we know about the Hall of Legends at the moment, but that doesn't happen. Anyway, oh, that's why they changed the system later on, but I'll show that later. Um. Permanently increase his attack. Silent focus. Final silent focus is for accuracy. Got all these spells. Summer wind is speed. Ooh. Amber will is uh, yep defense. First aid. Mass first aid. So you get a lot of stuff here, and you can also kind of build her how you want with doing this. Right now. Summer Wind and uh, Red Vigor kind of gives you a little bit of insight to how I'm going to build her. I'm gonna I'm going to build her from in speed and attack. Well, yeah, well, I guess I can save it. And save it once more here. Saving doesn't take that long, fortunately. However, I am a save. I, I save a lot. Anyway. <clears throat> My husband and I are hoping to sell off the rest of our goods before we seek shelter. Oh, shit. Let's try that again. Sometimes my, my, I accidentally double click. There's a larger port east of, oh my god, Mortagni called Ferrith. Perhaps you'll find better luck there, I'll check it out. 
pretty well. So if you miss a dialogue, you're kind of screwed. So you can buy stuff here. I don't have any credits right now. However, the, this is our potion, the ginger ale, 25%. Um, think of this as a full heal. I know I'm speaking in, in Pokemon terms, but whatever. Uh, stat depressors and the duct tape is your revive. For some reason, I don't know why it's duct tape, but. <clears throat> so we got the mayor here. You're not from around here, are you? You could say that. Well, you picked a very bad time to come to our village. I, I advise you to make your stay as brief as possible. It'd be nice if I could actually pronounce words. This house, I believe, is boarded up. So this is gonna... If you see this symbol, that's the armory. Of course, we can't go in here right now. Doesn't matter because we don't have any credits to buy anything with anyway. But... Who are you? Why are you in my home? Sorry, I guess I couldn't resist. You're not from the church? I'm Aura. I'm from the up. If you're a traveler, then you would be wise to leave this town. Soon the Black Brothers will come. If they find you, they will certainly sell you as a slave. Well, okay then. I guess I'll get going. Oh, I didn't get your name. My name is Elizabeth Blackwood. Uh, if you're traveling north and pass by the temple, could you please send for my husband? Sure, what's his name? His name is Kashk. If you see him, please ask him to come home and help me store away your valuables. <gasps> Oh, that, oh, oh. And that's boarded up as well. We don't really know how, oh, we didn't talk to uh, Sari yet. Or the other guy. I haven't learned names yet. I've only played through this once. I feel confident we will be able, oh my gosh, can I stop eating? Maybe we couldn't pronounce it. I feel confident that we will able to that we will be able to find a way home for you soon, Aria. It's a huge relief. I really appreciate everything you guys have done for me. I know I'm kind of hard to put up with that at times, but I'm really grateful. Perhaps so. Do not do you know I'm glad to have met you, Aria. As much as I hope that you were able to return home safely, it does sadden me that we will have to part ways. Apparently, we can walk on water. If you are ready to leave, I suggest we depart as soon as possible. The Virad are known to ambush travelers at night. Is there really someone we have to wor be worried about? I mean, it seems that everywhere we go, there's someone out to get you. If it's not an enemy tribe, it's the Vera. I'm starting to get the feeling that you two are hiding something from me. Might I suggest that you continue voicing your complaints as we travel? I have no desire to be ambushed at nightfall. It's not the answer. You kind of that. You've never asked a question. Yeah, Zacharis is kind of stubborn in terms of like information and stuff like that. But, I said, but we don't have anywhere else to go except up. I have heard rumors that the road to Seal is frequent targeted by bandits. Stay on guard. Remember that touching an enemy will cause you to engage in combat. To finish an encounter, knock out all of the enemies by lowering their hit points to zero. These black dots are considered to be bandits for some reason. So we're gonna get a feeling to how they are fighting right now. Right now, Arya is de defensive, and so is Zacharis, and Sari has the dodge icon again. Yeah. The dodge will allow you to, obviously, sometimes their attacks will miss, and obviously the defensive will decrease the amount of damage that they do to you. So first up we have Sari. As for now, her reactions are, you can switch them, so you can switch them from dodge to guard, depending on what your stat is. Techniques has disenchant right now. She will learn others later on, but that will, I haven't really found a use for that yet. So right now I'm just going to attack. Moving on to Arya. For some reason, she has. Oh, yeah. So, these are what we learned. Her reactions from dodge to guard. Um. 
switching one of these will uh, switching from one to the other will take up a turn I need to escape I guess I'll keep her on guard for now and Zacharias is kind of the kind of the um, magic um, user slash healer of the group right now his techniques are magic so we have sapphire and deal light water damage ruby will deal heavy fire damage explosive damage excuse me and then we have first aid healing ability his, re his reactions are the same items and stuff like that so there are also those these things called vital hits basically they're, they're critical hits they'll do more damage than a standard attack finish up battling these fine fine folks these guys will usually take yeah two later on they'll take three or four hits to to knock out where'd the other bandit go oh well I actually have to get the class soon. Um, I would like these episodes are going to be long, like they are certainly going to be long, just because because it's an RPG, probably going to wind up talking to a lot of people and buying a lot of things and doing side quests and stuff like that. So the longer episodes will kind of make up for it, and hopefully we'll get some plot into every part of it. But for now. I hope you guys are enjoying this game so far. I really do enjoy it. I want um, Act 3 Plus to come out soon. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Maybe it will be, be there by the time I finish up this last play and we can go right through. But until then, this has been BSCAT 100 with Vacant Sky Contention Act 1 Plus. Or Plus, yeah, Act 1 Plus. And I will see you guys next time for some more adventuring.